The latest unemployment figures from our region have been released today and show the number of people out of a job between July and September of this year has fallen by 20,000. Unemployment in the North East is still the highest in the country though, but with 6.1% of people out of work, it's the lowest rate for more than 10 years. North East MEP Jonathan Arnott says it shows that Brexit is already having a positive impact on the region. Well, I caught up with him as he was travelling to London a little earlier on. Jonathan Arnott, thank you for joining us on Tyne and Dwee News. Now, you're of the view that Brexit has had a positive impact on the job situation here in the North East, but surely it's too early to tell. Well, we were told by the Remain campaign that we would see, over July and August, 500,000 jobs go across the country. So that's what they said. That's the benchmark that we should be testing this against. And actually what we've seen is unemployment fall dramatically in the northeast to the lowest levels for a decade so we're just comparing with the prediction that remain made that everything would be doom and gloom and looking at the figures that we're actually seeing which is that things are actually better than they have been for a decade well these employment figures have been improving for quite a long time especially here in the northeast what makes you think that this time around the vote to leave has affected these recent figures well, firstly, because they haven't really been improving for quite a long time. I mean, over the last couple of years, generally speaking, our unemployment rate has been something around 7.5% to 8%, and it's fluctuated up and down uh, with the seasons uh, from there. But actually what we're seeing today is it's fallen dramatically to 6.0%, and, and that is a massive difference. But also, when you compare the northeast to the rest of the country, you see that the northeast was... Uh, just above the national average 10 years ago. Uh, but then it went to being so far away. It was six times as far away from the national average as it had been a decade ago. Now what we see is that the figures have gone down. That gap has halved very, very quickly. And one of the reasons for that is that we are a manufacturing region. Well, we've still got the highest rate of unemployment in the country. Can you see Brexit having a positive impact in that in the years to come? Yes, I can, because we're a manufacturing region, we're a trading region. And actually what we need to be starting to look at is how we develop our trade links, not just with the European Union, but with the rest of the world. Do the things that we weren't allowed to do uh, as members of the European Union and will be allowed to do by the time we leave the European Union. So, for example, we need to start negotiating trade deals with countries like India, with countries like the United States of America, things that we should have been doing long, long ago, but we've not been allowed to do it because we couldn't negotiate negotiate our own trade deals because the EU Trade Commissioner has been doing that for us since 1975. Well obviously we've heard that Nissan's going to continue to manufacture in Sunderland but Nissan's only one company granted it employs a lot of people but other businesses are still uncertain as to whether they're going to keep work here too. Uh, well, I, I don't really think that, that they are. I mean, what we've seen actually since the referendum is uh, more investment. We've seen more jobs uh, come to the region uh, for, from a number of different companies. And actually, I, I think what we've seen is that the people who had told us uh, that companies would leave, those same companies are making long term plans to stay here in the Northeast. But actually, we're seeing general growth in employment. And one of the big things that's happened is the, U the UK has had very much an overvalued pound for quite a long time. And that overvalued pound has hurt us in the northeast as a manufacturing region. So what we've seen is that the pound's returned to a more realistic uh, level against the, against the euro, against the dollar. And in that happening, what we've then seen is that British exports have become more attractive. Uh, the northeast has then become a much better place to do business. Countries are much more likely to want to buy from the northeast now now that the pound is at a realistic level. And actually, that is something which is providing a real stimulus. And that, I think, is why the northeast has been almost uh, over half of the national drop in unemployment over the last few months. That's why we're doing so well uh, now compared to the, last com to the rest of the country over the last few months. There's still a long, long way to go. Of course there is. There has to be a long way to go because we started uh, from such a difficult point, from such a low level. But we're actually starting to see already the benefits of that vote to leave the European Union.